azospermia or nilsperm count is a problem that we are getting to see a lot these days. So what is this nilsperm count or azospermia? So when a male partner gives the semen for collection, uh, for assessment, and uh, we tend to see no sperm cells in the seminal fluid, that is when we call it as azospermia or nilsperm count. So in the management of a scenario of azospermia, the first thing to rule out or look for is uh, was there any problem in collecting the sample? Because there could be some mechanical or physical reasons for which the sample was not collected properly. Uh, so the diagnosis or uh, we proceeding with uh, the concept of azospermia shouldn't be harita. Uh, the best practice would be to, practice, uh, to repeat a semen analysis probably in four to six weeks time and a second report also showing an azospermia that is when intervention from a clinical perspective is uh, required. Uh, so the first thing is to identify whether this uh, nil sperm count or azospermia is because of an obstructive pathology as in the testis is probably producing enough but there isn't uh, isn't a clear pathway to be uh, brought out. So this, there is some kind of an obstruction which is preventing the sperm cells to come out in the semen through the ejaculate. So this is a case of obstructive azospermia and might need uh, andrologist or urologist intervention and sometimes a surgical intervention to go ahead. And if nothing works, probably a testicular biopsy as a last resort and ICSI that is intracytoplasmic sperm injection uh, as a part of fertility treatment. Say if it is not an obstructive uh, case of azospermia, it is a non-obstructive azospermia. Non-obstructive azospermia is more of a production defect within the testis. So the testis which is the factory for production of the spermatozoa itself is not producing sperms. So we will have to first try and evaluate is there any treatable cause for this. Uh, if there is no cause that we can see and uh, if the intervention cannot be done in the right way, uh, the best would be to do a testicular biopsy. There are various surgical procedures of bringing the uh, sperm out like the uh, testicular aspiration or testicular extraction or a micro TC procedure. Bring the sperm cells out and using ICSI that is intracytoplasmic sperm injection, uh, we could help these people out uh, for conception.